Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm going to make the review of this violet pen. And this is a Diplomat Pop 505A. And if you enjoy the videos that I make, please don't forget to subscribe. So, today I'm going to show you this pen and talk a little bit about how it performs. So, sorry, my voice is still not okay. Uh, this pen has uh, a purple barrel that tapers down. It has the Diplomat Cross, the logo which is this uh, cross on the bottom of... Sorry, sometimes it's quite hard to focus there. On the bottom of the, of the barrel and you can also see the same on the top of the cap. So, the barrel is just one piece like this, purple. The cap has a brushed steel finish, except for the cap lip, which says Dip Diplomat, and then it has the cross and then Diplomat again. There's no reference about the model, I saw it online. And then it has this shiny clip that is very, very springy. And on the top of the cap there is a plastic piece with the logo. And the cap is just a push fit and it has a ring between the barrel and the, the section. The, the barrel has a little step but you almost won't feel it. It has a metal ring there and then you have the section. The section has a little bit of texture, I think you can see it there. And it helps to make the pen less slippery. I don't usually have problems in feeling the pens to be slippery, but if you do, this one is nice because it has that kind of texture. Then it has a steel nib, which has these nail shape with the Diplomat logo there and with no breather hole. And then on the other side of the nib you have the fine, the F for fine nib. Then you unscrew the barrel and you have these black threads of the section. It takes cartridge, maybe converter, this one came with a metal piece inside that is used, that is made to uh, have two cartridges stored inside the pen. However, the cartridges for this pen are no longer available. They are not the international sized cartridge that Diplomat use, uses nowadays. But you can force a cross cartridge into this pen and then it will work fine. So you just need to get a cross cartridge, cartridge that they are still available or if you can find a vintage Diplomat uh, cartridge. Go for it and don't forget to do not throw it away because you can uh, reuse it. There are no new of those being made. When you use a cross cartridge you just having the trouble that you will have only one cartridge inside the pen, you cannot fit two back-to-back uh, -back inside of the barrel. And this is it for the pen. It is quite light, made of plastic and steel, and it is a nice pen with a decent size. Let me show some size comparison. Here you have the Lamy Safari, that I usually make as a comparison, and a Parker Centennial the Fold. So it is a little bit shorter and much narrower. When you uncap the pens, you will have here three very different nibs between all three. And you see and kept it's not that short. Now, one thing that this pen has that is quite good and I like it, as I told you sometimes I don't usually post the pens unless they are too small, like Cavex Sport, or they are 
designed to be posted. I don't usually post this one, is the kind of pen that I think it is designed to be posted. You can really write with it and post it, it's big enough, but when you post it, the cap goes in very snugly and deeply. So you'll get a very decent sized pen that is really made to be posted and it gets very elegant and with a very good balance. So I really enjoy this pen. And now I'm just going to show you some comparison with other pens that I think they are all too similar. I believe that the pens from Germany from this time frame, they are very similar. I have here a Caveco VP6 and look at this, very similar pen, also with the logo on the top, this kind of just the, the K, a shiny clip with a matte finished cap and a metal ring and a little step down on the barrel, so the same kind of design. You have a, also a similar design with this Lamy, this is Lamy Ratio, the cap is not the right cap for this pen but it, but it fits and the, the cap for this pen would be similar. This is for a Lamy 69 but for this example it is the, the same. You also have the logo there which is the L and when you post the pen you will also have a little step down on the barrel. This is a, a piston filler not a cartridge filler and you have a, also a metal uh, ring there in the section and then you have a small nib. So I would say this is very similar and I have another one here which is the Montblanc Carrera which also has the logo in both hands, a metal cap, okay the clip on this one is a little different and the color of the the section is not the same color as the barrel, but I think you can see there is some kind of similarities of the pens from the, I would say, 60s and 70s from Germany. This kind of more cheap pens. I would say that these um, Diplomat 5, uh, Pop 505A is a pen that is made for students. Um, it is a cartridge pen, as I showed you, there was also the 505 only without the A and that one was a piston filler pen, so a little bit higher end. And now I will just show you how this pen performs on paper. And here we are with the pen and paper and let's use it. So this is the... I will post it because this one deserves to be posted, the Diplomat 505A, I forget here, Pop 5A, and this is the Lilac. The nib, as I showed you, it is a fine steel nib. The paper that I'm using is the usual Rodia or Rodia if you prefer to say it in a more English approach. Uh, it's rhodia.pad and the ink in this pen is diamine violet. And I think this is a, a color that the, the ink color matches very well the color of the pen. So as you can see this pen writes really well very, um, I would say, very smoothly with a very stiff nib so even if you force there is no line variation to be had but it is a very stiff nib and very well finished it writes really really well with a very fine line and I would say this F nib is really an F nib not an extra fine, not a medium. Sometimes I find the European F nibs are more 
a medium to me, but this one, I would say, it is not. It behaves as a, as a real fine nib, and I really enjoy this, uh, the writing of this pen. About the wetness of the nib, I would say this is quite wet for such a fine nib, and this is very, very nice. So you will have a very good performance out of this pen. And when you write with it upside down, it is not scratchy, it has not a lot of feedback, you just feel it is sharper on paper. That if you miss the angle you may scratch the paper a little bit, but if you write with it the right way, it writes very well. And it writes well with, I would say, an extra fine line. And in the normal way, it writes well with a fine line. So, I think this comparison is quite good for you to see the difference of this pen. It really works on the reverse side, which is very nice for some of you. For some others, it, is not, it doesn't matter a lot. And to me, it usually doesn't matter a lot unless I really have to make real little notes sometimes sometimes between lines that I have written before. So the overall about this pen is I really 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 enjoy this pen. I enjoy the color, it is a bright beautiful color. I enjoy this kind of look. Uh, I don't have many purple pens and I think this one is, 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 is really fine, is interesting looks very nice and I have to say that I never tried a diplomat pen that didn't have a good nib. Even this one has a good nib, it has no flex to it, it is a very inexpensive pen but it is good. I got this uh, in second hand in a store here in Lisbon, although it was um, bought as used, I don't think this pen was ever used in its life, so I was quite excited with it and I, I made a video about when I purchased it and I really enjoy this pen. This is the kind of pen that I think they deserve to be saved from, from being forgotten somewhere. I think, I, I hate to see nice pens to be left forever without getting any use just because they are not high hands or just that fine. This pen can be, I, I, I bought this, I, I don't remember exactly, but I think it was for 10 euros, this pen, and I think it is, it is a nice price and these kind of pens deserve to be used and to have a second chance to perform because they really perform well. And this is the, um, the proof, the evidence that shows you that you don't really need to have a very high-end high pen to have a high-end performance. So, what I recommend you to do is go hunting around, find some of these forgotten pens and give them a second life. Test them, use them, and if you don't love them that much, sell them to someone else or give them away and you will spread the passion of using fountain pens. So, this is all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to um, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and to uh, activate the little bell there on the subscribe button to be sure you receive the notifications of all the videos that I post. This is all for today. See you next video. Bye.